I'm so tired of being stuck inside. I just wanted to get warmer so I can go outside. Sounds like you have spring fever. And the only prescription for fever is more cowbell. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, it's an inside joke. I don't want to be inside. I want to be outside. Yeah. Uh, okay, sounds like we have spring fever. Go, go, go. Start the video. Start the video. Hey, guess what? Spring has begun, and we love to talk about the different seasons here on Hey, Guess What? Spring is one of the four seasons on our planet. In the four seasons are fall, winter, summer, and, you guessed it, spring. The three warmest months are during summer. The coldest months are winter. And the seasons in the middle, where it's a little warm, but can also be a bit colder, are spring and autumn. And hey, guess what? Did you know that the word spring began in the early 14th century? Wow, that word's been around a long time. Something else that happens around springtime is daylight saving time, or spring forward, which happens in March just before spring. Oh, and by the way, we actually did a video on daylight saving time. We'll link it in the description below. As you may know, spring is the season between winter and summer and is a symbol of rebirth. Many flowering plants start to bloom during the spring, and they usually start when snow may still be on the ground and they continue growing all the way into the beginning of summer. You will see quite a few rain showers during spring, especially in April. And then in May, the flowers will start to bloom more and more. And this is why you may have heard the popular saying, April showers bring May flowers. And some of the most common flowers in spring are lilacs, irises, tulips, daffodils, lilies, and dandelions. And you may also see trees and shrubs or bushes that have flowers that start to grow on them too. A lot of holidays happen during the spring. And that's right, Quinn. And some of those holidays are Easter, Passover, April Fool's Day, Earth Day, Arbor Day, Mother's and Father's Day, as well as Cinco de Mayo, as well as Holi, the Festival of Colors in India. During early spring, the axis of the Earth increases on its tilt to the sun. And this causes the length of daylight from the sun to increase for each hemisphere. And there are two hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere is north of the equator. The Southern Hemisphere is south of the equator. Wow! Genius! And if you're still a little bit confused, here's some examples. The United States is in the Northern Hemisphere, and Australia is located in the Southern Hemisphere. When it is spring in the Northern Hemisphere, it is autumn or fall in the Southern Hemisphere. So that means, like, when it's warm for us, it's cold for them? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. For example, in Australia, spring occurs during the months of September, October, and November, which is the opposite here in the United States. During that time, it's the fall for us. And each hemisphere starts to warm up a lot, and this starts producing new plant growth to spring forth, giving the season its name. And any remaining snow begins to melt, which adds water to streams with its runoff. In warmer climates that don't have snow, you'll notice that air and ground temperatures rise much faster. And on the very first day of spring, which is usually March 21st or March 22nd, the hours of daylight and night are almost equal, about 12 hours apart. Actually, it's just the daylight that's just a little bit longer. The first day of spring is called the vernal equinox. 
And the word vernal is Latin for spring, and equinox is Latin for equal days. And this also occurs during the autumnal equinox in the fall, which happens around September 22nd. And the vernal equinox happens when the angle of the Earth's axis is not facing towards or away from the sun. And daytime length begins to last longer as nighttime gets shorter as the season progresses. Hey, guess what? On the day of the vernal equinox, the sun is directly above the equator. And believe it or not, jet streams play a very important role during winter, which can cause very cold days and even storms. But they are even more critical during the spring in the northern hemisphere. And these jet streams are what causes unstable and often unpredictable weather patterns during the spring. And the unstable spring weather can happen often because warm air starts to move in from lower latitudes as colder air still pushes its way from cold polar regions. Another thing that this can cause and make people worry about is flooding. And this is actually more common near mountainous areas because of the large amount of snow that melts as well as the additional rain that happens during springtime. And the United States, the area known as Tornado Alley, is the most active during spring. And this is because the Rocky Mountains block these rising hot and cold air masses from moving further to the east. This then makes both of these large air masses have to fight each other. That causes intense storms. It's not just tornadoes or huge supercell thunderstorms that can happen either. And this blockage of the hot and cold air masses can also create giant pieces of hail as well as extremely strong winds, which can trigger a thunderstorm or tornado warning as well. Those are some of the things that happen during spring with weather, but other things happen too. That's right, Cadence. As the days get longer and warmer, many animals will start to have babies. Some of those animals are cows, Mew. birds, <laughs> and ducks. Quack, quack. How'd I do? Did I tell them pretty good, those noises? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. And bears that have been hibernating start to wake up and become active as well. And we have a video all about what hibernation is. And we'll also link to that in the description below. The warm weather during spring is also a fantastic and fun time for plants as their bulbs start <laughs> exploding to life again in many different colors, shapes, and styles. So if you ever wanted to learn more about plants and flowers, well, spring is a great time to learn about them as they begin to bloom. One of the holidays we mentioned earlier was Arbor Day, which is celebrated on the last Friday in April. Taking care of the planet Earth by planting more trees happens on Arbor Day. And this is not the same as Earth Day, which also happens during spring. Earth Day is April 22nd. And we actually have a video for Earth Day. We'll link it in the description below, right? Yep. Yep. All right, cool. Let's do it. Earth Day is used to help to be more considerate about our world and our environments. Sometimes schools will give away trees to plant, which can be planted on Arbor Day, which follows about a week or so later. And just like Cadence and Quinn mentioned in the beginning, sometimes for a lot of us during the time of the year, when people notice the warmer weather coming back, we get excited and will want to start going outside a lot more. And we mentioned this before. This is sometimes called spring cabin fever, which, believe it or not, is an actual real thing studied by doctors and scientists. But I really don't think cowbell is the solution. So I don't know about you, 
But to me, this makes me think that spring is not just important for plants, trees, and animals, but also for people as well. Well, hey, guess what? Besides the fact that I'm alone, we just learned a lot about spring. So, thanks so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Thanks!